All right. Let's see. Am I getting through here? All right, sick. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that the sound is good until I watch it back. And this is really just a first test stream because I've never streamed on YouTube before. So I guess we'll see how that goes. Uh. Do I have... Alright, cool. Alright. Well, it is up and running. Which is, uh, the best I can do for right now. Cause I'm... Unfamiliar. With the rest. So I guess we'll just do what we came here to do. Which is draw. If somebody comes in chat and tells me the stream sucks, I mean, I guess we'll take it from there, but for now. Probably should have adjusted all that beforehand. Alright, oh no, my YouTube chat. How do I get that to stay on the top? Um, do I have to like hold up, hold up, hold up behind the scenes? Where the fuck? <laughs> oh no, I don't know where. Well, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna take this chat and we're gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna, okay, it doesn't do that, right? No, it doesn't do that, so we're gonna custom do it, I guess. Once again, I fully admit that this is all stuff that I should have figured out beforehand. And that's totally fine. I forgive me. Alright, well that looks... weird. <laughs> um... Can this come over? Not unless it's full screen. Alright. Say love you. I think... Yeah. I don't know. Chat, I love you. We'll figure that out for a different day. Because I want full screen. Oh, it doesn't even get rid of the bar at the bottom. There's a lot of things I don't know. All right. File new. Today we're going to be doing root character root oc ote all right so usually i just color select my background and then choose a little bit darker of a gray um, but today, uh, and then I usually do like a sketch type thing like this, where I'm line arting, but today we're gonna do something a little different. Let's see, what pen, should we use a brush? Let's use a brush. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Gouache? 
feel like that's an okay brush. I'm not sold on it. We'll come back to that gouache bag. Ooh. Ooh. No, that's way too light. India ink. Meh. Uh, what's wet blotting? Oh, jeez. Well, that's not good for a sketch. Yikes. All right, um, let's try, go back to pen. Let's make it much darker and much bigger. I don't love that. I want something with a little more texture. This isn't really, I mean, I could go with the color pencil, just big color pencil. Oh no, never mind. Soft and flaky? How about big soft and flaky? Also, never mind. Uh, let's try a marker. I guess we always have the choice to go back and check out the store. Alright, let's do that. Um. Do, 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 do. Uh, fine brushes. Ba -da -ba -ba. Wow, this is loading like crap. All right. Um, I guess what do we want? What do we, what would we type in to get what we want? Textured brush. Let's see. Ooh, this one's kind of nice. Kind of want something that has not necessarily like that much outline texture, just kind of like some speckling on the inside. I have this one. This one's not bad. Not like a so I have one in Procreate that I use. Um that's like a it's like a circle. It it's basically stereotypical like paintbrush. What if what yeah, let's just do let's do paintbrush. Sure. Wow, that got texture. All right, cool. Paint texture. Let's see. Like that, that's cool. People are so talented when it comes to brushes. It is insane. If you hear any noises in the background, it's the cats. They're just kind of... They do be straight chilling. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, but this is... Okay, I do love this, but this might give us... Yeah, this is going to give us very consistent line texture across the entire piece, which I don't necessarily want. I do love this, though. I am going to download it anyway. It is gorgeous. That's so cool. I can't wait to mess with that. What about this one? Okay, this is just the sunset. Paint and canvas texture. Acrylic paintbrush. All right. Oh, this one's ten clippy. Ugh. 
Not that it's bad, I just... I'm not about to plug in my, uh... My money right now. On stream, you know? That's ten. Stinky ink. That one was called Stinky Ink. Oh, I lost it. No, Stinky Ink, come back. There it is. This is cute too. Let's look at this. Cause this might be brush to make paint effect. Okay. Sick. I like that. We'll do this one. Cool. Ba -da -ba. Oops. Shit. This is why this is not a technically kid friendly stream. <laughs> uh, go to pencil or pen. Uh, cause I I don't know why I just put everything into pen. I probably shouldn't. Let's do this one in marker. <laughs> Let's do, let's do, let's do both of these. Add the palette. Oh, let's do this one there too. Cause why not? Okay, I just want to look at the cardboard painter. Actually. The cardboard painter is not what I thought it would be. And it is really cute. I do really like it. It's not necessarily as messy as I want it to be for this, though. This is nice. This is really nice. I like that. All right, let's make it not as big. Hey, what what is it on right now? What size is this? Okay, we're gonna go. Okay, cool. Uh, a hundred. Okay, cool. Time to make the outline. So we're working with. A wolf today so I'm going to pull in um, one that I've already drawn so this one I drew just the other day you can see it's got my little uh my little signature on it I mean I guess that doesn't necessarily mean that I drew it but I'm gonna keep it up here just as like a reminder of like the style I'm going for. I know that I probably should keep a reminder of the actual like Kyle Farron art, but I'm going to try and like keep with this specific one because I'm trying to make three wolves that all look very similar to this one. Well, two more wolves that look similar to this one, but with different roles. So from there, we're going to go with the marker. And his head, all the wolves heads are very this shape. So I've been starting like that. Oop, 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 oop. Um, and then you can see up here that their ears, you can bring this up a little straighter and then their ears kind of come straight up like that. Maybe a little shorter than that, but Fuck it, this guy has taller ears. Um, so he's kind of roughed in there. And then the body is just a rectangle. Um, the rectangle does get wider on the bottom, at least a little bit. And you can see here, I'll show you with the length of the brush. So the head is like three tall the body is approximately three tall as well um for that guy i'm going to do this body about the same so we're gonna cut off that and so now we have well we want it to be not necessarily exactly three tall we just want it to be even between the two of them so that it's not unproportional or disproportional. Um, so there's that. But this guy, I think I'm going to have crouching. So here's the part where... Oh, gotta crack my neck. Here's the part where I am 
like going in and making stuff up now. So he's this one's supposed to be a bomb person. I'm going to make them crouching, I think. So these are just very rough legs. Kind of froggish a little bit. And I'm not going for perfection with this. The art style is not anywhere near like intricate perfectionism or anything like that. It's a very it's a very hard style for me specifically to replicate because with most of my other work, I'm so particular about the line art. And this one I because I never start with like the shape blocking, but I feel like I don't know if that's what Kyle Farron does, but I feel like that will get me to the correct, like, outcome, and so that's what I'm doing. Okay, so next, I'm gonna do the rectangles for arms, and now the rectangles are coming through the body, and then... hands, general hands, um, and then I don't know what kind of explosives we're going for here, but maybe, maybe just like a couple of sticks of dynamite, do a little tube, get a little, uh, get a couple of wicks, and then they come to one top wick, maybe? Alright, and so now from here we have like a pretty solid form. Um, and we can start doing like a rough line art sketch. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna choose a far darker color, or I could even just go in here and steal the color off of that. Um, and now we're gonna go back in the pen. We're gonna look for something real textured. We look in, that's way big. So this line art is really small, really thin. Um, because you can see here, like, the smallest lines are really just, like, tiny, tiny. So we're going to go with, I think, 15 here. Although, I don't know that that's enough texture. Yeah, here we go. We're going to go with... We're going to go with this pen. Because it gives us a little more texture. I did this other one in Procreate. So it, it will look different. Um, but I'm trying to just match it as best as I can. Okay, so let's do a little thicker on the brush. Let's do some sharp ears up here. And then maybe something like that. Uh, hmm. I'm wondering, okay, so what features would a bomb like person have like not even just like uh i think a little smirk we've got the I don't know if a wink. This is the part where I start getting a little quiet. Because I'm just roughing in, like, what I think might be a good idea. Let's redo these eyes. I'm not a hundred percent sure what 
what I want to do. This isn't, this is more fox than wolfy, I think, right now. Uh, here, let's try. Let's try racing the whole thing and then putting the nose down here. This is more cat now. Okay. Let's do... Yeah. There we go. Getting a little... Not too wide. Yeah, let's get let's get some angry eyes going. Let's get maybe some eyebrow stuff going there because a lot of them have like circular eyebrows but i feel like this guy's a little bit sharper let's do do something like this for the ears and then still Still something like that. All right, cool. Okay, so we have a general, we have a general head. Um, let's do. What should his clothes be? I'm thinking. Okay, so his arms. We're just going to quick sketch in the form of his body. Something like this. And then... What should his hands be doing? Let's see. Uh... Let me just quick change that. Um, Sorry about all the typing noises. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand 
why there's no art category on YouTube. It's really weird. I'm just quick adding these in. I know that that's not the most professional thing to do, but this is also my first time and I'm not 100% sure how to do this. It'll get better next time. <laughs> this be different? Alright, then <laughs> I just randomly dipped for a hot sec. Okay, so I didn't really plan what his hands were doing. Uh, we could change, like, where his hands are. What if we... Ba -ba -da -ba -da. What if we did this? We could put them next to each other. Ooh, okay. Better yet, more dynamic. So one hand is holding I'm just going to draw a cylinder for now. Uh, let's undo that. And then... One of them holding this. Um, buh, 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 buh. the fuse, and then re-erase this again, and then probably actually further very scribbly and then fist match Ooh. Uh, I really don't like how this arm is looking I do like it being the lighting arm I think that we need to do more of like a droopy oh wait no the bombs are circles because they have the crows don't they yeah they do okay so Ooh. okay i just had a complete change of ideas because they're circles so they're lobbing okay okay we're <laughs> we're gonna delete this entire layer and this entire layer. And we're gonna start over from marker. 
Okay. So, what if instead of... What if instead of crouching front and center, what if... What if he's looking from behind a tree? So here he is. <laughs> it's a tiny bit shit. What if we just bip and bip? Um. Okay, so he's he's there, and then. He's like hiding behind a tree. So now he has one arm down here. one leg kind of here and then Ooh, okay up 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 and then And then dude's got a bomb. Oop. Okay, so hand kind of goes like that. Oop. How's that? I think that's so much better. And then, just to be extra, we can put in a tree. That's cool. We got a little thing going on. Now we go back to this color. We just choose a well actually no, we're gonna choose this color from in there. And now let's outline. We still have this brush. Oh, just double check everything's working and stretch. Ugh. All right. So once again, we have, we're gonna, we're gonna actually pull in here a little bit to get some better detail.
And then this is now going to go like this. Ooh, what if we gave him some scruff here? That's cute. Love that. And then the nose is like that. The mouth do come in from here. What if we... That's kind of cool. Mm. Oops. Let's not smooth out his hairline there. this all right and then maybe not I don't want him to look evil he certainly is looking evil though <laughs> Let's do that. Let's erase some of this and put in some crazy brows. Look at that. Look at how good he's coming along. I love him. Let's do some extra scruff. And now, once again, we are at what should he be wearing? So, we have his fellow in arms in like leather armor and stuff like that. Um, I feel like this guy should have, like, pouches. I feel like he should have pouches, like, everywhere. Can we do this? Um, let's do... Maybe this? Maybe a little, little tunic, and then some bandoliers. Like this is, I feel like this is our doomsday prepper, you know? Like, this man is ready. This man's strapped. Here, let's... Let's give him some armor as well. And let's make it the same, or like similar armor. So it's kind of like 
this is their this is their units armor almost maybe cuz now we have he's in i mean he's in the opposite his folds the opposite way but then they both have something crossing them okay now, I think this guy, hmm, maybe something, no, I want, I want him to have not just like long sleeves. Ooh, okay, so maybe like some rolled up sleeves. Are there cigarettes in this universe? I feel like you should have a cigarette. Not that people are, like, I'm not gonna judge people who smoke, obviously, like, whatever gets you through the day, I don't, I don't recommend it, but like, whatever, it's, you, you do you, boo. But, um, I just feel like you should have a Feel like he should have a cigarette or like a big cigar yeah let's give him a cigar Let's do that. And let's. What do they? They always do like this for cigars, for like cartoons. And then we'll just like. That looks dumb. There we go. How's that look? I feel like maybe that's a little high? I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> Dude. So there's that. We're gonna erase this part and we're gonna just do that. Like I said, this art style is very, like, rough and tumble, and so I have to, like, stop myself from cleaning up lines. Uh. Because, uh, I'm a maniac. <laughs> Smell.
Okay, that's kind of a tree trunk of a hand. I think maybe slim this down a bit. The uh, the gray outline is really, I mean, it's just that it's an outline, so I can take it as a suggestion and not not gen like actually what I'm gonna keep with, so I can pull stuff back like this. Wow, that's so much worse. Alright, let's uh... Let's do this. Let's... Uh... Let's do some selecting. area. Hi. Lasso, there we go. Alright, now we're gonna burp, burp. We're gonna do this. Okay. Deselect, go back to pen, go back to eraser actually, take this in, uh, eh. actually, we're gonna take this out. And then we're gonna do this. Take that out. Oop. And then. Oops, no. Alright. Now let's back up. Does that match the other hand? It's a little small now, so we're gonna do this, and we're gonna erase the inside line. How's that? Good. Let's do, let's do a little bup bup bup, and then bup bup bup, and then bup 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 bup, uh, and we're gonna do some dirt. Are the dots necessary? Let's look. No, but neither is the dirt. All right, cool. It's always good to try. All right, so let's look back at here. He has like a tunic coming down underneath. So let's make his, this guy's shirt come down further and then let's give them the same shoes. So. Uh, let's erase here. And... We're gonna do this. And erase here. Go 
down, down, there we go. Cool. We're gonna give him... I know this might be going into too much detail, but we're gonna give him a little trim. This is gonna be a cool little, cool little trim. Alright. So then the boots come to knee height and they have this front thing comes to here. Oops. We're gonna do this. Nope, we're gonna do this. And then this. And then with the pants, we're gonna color it in. But we're gonna color it in in little itty bitty strokes so that it's uh, still got some texture to it. Get some of these in there. Just put some texture lines in there. The good thing about coloring this kind of thing in completely black is that uh, you can really carve out like shapes that you want after the fact instead of having to erasing erase and go back and stuff like that um right okay so we're gonna like i said this is uh i don't want to say super imprecise but like it it's a very sketch way to draw not sketches and bad but sketches and actual sketching um and so i'm kind of fudging where the shoes and stuff are gonna end up because they're a little bit different on not just every character but every leg <laughs> because the legs aren't necessarily going to be completely accurate to one another either. Or at least that's the way I have interpreted this way of drawing, to be fair. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's how uh, the original artist Kyle Farron does any of his like art. You know that thing I just said about not having to like go in and erase? So fun fact, I apparently lied. There we go. One, two, three. All right, now let's take a step back. We should put some more detail on his bandoliers. But other than that, I'm really liking where he's going. I'm almost thinking this leg could be over the other. Mm, no, we're going to make it weird just because I don't want to have to redraw this foot right here because this foot Really, now that I'm looking at it, should probably have been flattened back. Um... So this is 
Uh, this one is for uh, a root faction, a homebrew root faction. Um, I did not make it up. It is really cool though. Um, my partner made it up, and I am just simply being the art conduit. So, uh... Honestly, if you want to see that, like the actual uh, thing I'm making this for, just let us know. All right, so now that we have this drawn, now we can add in, so you can see here that not only is like the pants all colored in and stuff like that, there's also like some really thick lines added and some really thin lines. We're gonna go and do that. I've already kind of done that on the face. Um, we're gonna color in this nose here. Um. I am gonna do probably like a darker swatch here. I also try to draw like lines wherever I'm doing like a darker swatch to add some texture in. Darker lines along the bottom of the bandoliers on all sides. Do this and then cross hatch back. Give this a nice dark line. that uh, and now for this I'm gonna do that and then add a nice dark swatch underneath here all of the areas I usually add some color to or some black to I should say and then when we color this in um, you'll notice uh, that I recolor some of this line art we'll get there but like it doesn't all just stay black. And then I think for this one, we probably want to do Something like this. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Let's add some cross hatching over here. Let's give this a little bit of a darker shadow. Look back. I think we could... I don't want to say clean up the face, but I do want to clean up the face. I have to stop myself. I will just make it too clean. Okay. How's that looking? Oh, we didn't add any teeth. Now we're gonna take this gray, we're gonna go back to this layer, we're gonna go in and we were using this brush. I'm gonna go in and just clean. I know I said we shouldn't clean things up, but for this we're using the this layer as the um, alpha lock layer for coloring, which means we do need to have at the very least, everything filled in. I don't care if it's a little outside the lines, but it needs to at least be filled in. Um, I don't want it too outside the lines, though, so I am going to take in some of the parts that were just overtly wrong or that we just, I mean, not wrong, but we changed. All right. Boop, boop, boop. All right, cool. Uh, we're gonna take out... Nah, uh, let's leave the tree. Oh, but, uh, that did help. Realize that the crotch wasn't fully colored in, though. Alright, so now for this layer, we're going to lock transparent pixels and color. Um, so a lot of the colors that I'm gonna use are already kind of in the other wolf up here, but... Not all wolves are just like this gray. So we're gonna start by coloring him in like all of his fur in with this gray. But once that base color is in, we're gonna start picking out some of the lighter colors. Because I think this wolf might have a little bit more white to him. He might be a little older, maybe. Which is funny because he's the... He's, I mean, objectively the one with the most terrifying job. Um, what's this? Looking for like a better texture. I want this to have like a nice gritty texture. Ooh, I like that. Okay, cool. Uh -uh. Ooh, pardon me. Sorry, guys. some light on the upper side of the hands and arms. Nice light coloration. There's that. And now, 
go even lighter. And now we're gonna go really like fine liner. Um, just kind of pull that in, get more texture in there. Um, start pulling from the undercoats. get and then maybe something like this doop, 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 doop. clean up some of that I know, I know, I said I shouldn't be cleaning stuff up. But here I am anyway. And then bring some of that through here. Get some texture. 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 I don't know, uh, I don't know if it's weird to just like say memes without having any like visual representation but uh there's the one post that's like eating meringue is like eating drywall that loves you and it just sa it says texture and uh boy howdy do i always hear it as texture I don't know. It's just a thing that makes me happy. Oops. Alright. Cool. Uh, we're gonna take this color and we're gonna kind of darken it a little bit and give texture this way as well. There's a space at least. So we do want to darken up. I don't know if there's any actual shading on the. Well, there, I don't think there is on on the originals, but um, I just like adding a little bit. I know he adds a little bit of like fine lining texture. I would love, absolutely love, to watch him draw literally anything at some point. Um, he's just, I just really love this style that he does. Um, it's not, it's very not my usual style, but Happy to attempt it. I 
because I do admire it. So as I focus and uh, forget to talk here, um, I'm just, I guess, just uh, chill and enjoy the music. I'm taking some of this, uh, just like a neutral middle color of the entire palette and just going over the entire thing to lessen the texture a little bit, just for, you know, uh, just so that it looks all cohesive. And then we're going to probably want him in like this color. Here, we'll just color the whole thing. Let's zoom in a little better. This could be, I think, a little more green, especially because uh, my partner really wants this faction to be like a dark, dark green for their card. I wanted to give them each like different colors that kind of look good with the forest, but not necessarily just all dark green because I feel like that would be bad like looking all right this is the same color because there's the same piece of armor Oh, yeah, I need to finish the rest of this. His clothes. Oops. This one bleeds a little bit, which I'm not loving. I'm not live, laugh, loving that. But that's fine. Uh, okay, cool. Should we go with the same color for this armor as well? Or for the bandoliers? Very colorful insurgent faction. 
I think these are supposed to be... Um, I mean, they are a militant faction, as he's holding a bomb. Um, so it's supposed to be like a replacement for one of the other militant factions, I think. Don't quote me on that. Uh, we're going to take this. Oh, we're gonna... Color in the boots. Get that orange. Color in this part of the boots. I'm noticing that there are some missing bits from the boot down here. Um, I'm not going to worry about that too, too much. Honestly, not. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't love how the brush has made this kind of all look blurry. This looks more like. I don't know. This looks more correct. This one is looking. I don't know. Blurry? And blurry is the only way I can explain it. So I may redraw this one with Procreate or find a new brush and re-outline it. Um, actually, yeah, let's maybe just do that because I think that would make me happier with it because I think really, overall, it's the outline that's... I don't know, it's just really weird and smudgy. I... I key don't love it. Color in this. We're going to give him blue eyes. I think that's cute. We're keeping with the same color story as the other one. I think the bombs are like a purple gray because they're from the Corvid conspiracy, technically. If if I remember correctly, that's where they show up first. So we're gonna go with like a purple for the bomb. And for its fuse. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how much I love the shoe color. I feel like it's not correct. Or maybe, maybe this needs to be. Maybe we need to do the forest green for this. Let's do it. smaller put in here get all of that okay that's better I feel like his bandolier needs to be not this color though 
feel like his bandolier needs to be the other brown. Making him way more neutral colors. Why am I doing it with such a small brush? Time for stretchings. Oh my goodness. <sighs> How's everybody doing today? I feel like the face color needs to be more regular. Let's do this a little better. Hope y'all are enjoying my weather channel music. It is not actually from the weather channel, but doesn't lo lo-fi just sound like it's from the weather channel? I know I've said this, I think to every single one of my friends, um, a million times, because I listen to lo-fi, um, pretty much every day. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I think when I was just when I was a kid, I was just like, "Yeah, weather channel music," and I don't, I've I've never grown out of it. <laughs> and lo-fi really do scratch that itch. Like, I'm I'm expecting my uh my five day forecast right here. You know. I feel like streaming is the time to just say weird shit. Not bad shit, obviously, because, I mean, only bad people say bad shit, but... Weird shit. Always nice. Always appreciated. Let me make this darker. Let's pull this. There we go. I like this a lot better. Um still gotta redo the lines I mean I still gotta do a lot of things but I'm liking this a lot better how long have we been streaming for I don't even know how to see that I'm not gonna lie 
Hour 25. Okay. Cool. Alright. Um. I think. Hmm. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna walk in a circle. And then I'm gonna come back and sit down. We're gonna redo the lines. We're gonna do finish doing the coloring. And then we're gonna redo the lines. And then we're gonna color the lines. Oh. If you're watching the recording of this, leave a comment on uh like what you're how what you're doing while watching. Well, this one's funky. I know that was probably way too short of a break. Let's get back to it anyway. Uh, okay. Um, let's see what it looks like. Weird. <laughs> um, all right, so first things first, we're gonna go over here, grab this marker. This is not exactly what I want. Let's go. Oh, what about the cardboard painter? Eh, also not really what I want, but cool. Let's go to brushes. Ooh, thick paint. Gouache. Not really. Dry gouache. Yeah. That's kind of. Right? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Let's do let's do dry gouache. Boot highlight. I guess we should do some of that highlight also on the bandoliers. There's also a low light though. Also known as a shadow. We're gonna take it a little darker because I don't see it. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna go here and we're gonna go a little darker. Oops. Got a little out of bounds. 
All right, and now the color that I did not use in the original, I'm gonna go straight up for the highlight. And let's go a little bit lighter. Yeah. Make this smaller for over here. Go a little bit bigger for down here. And then I want some reflected light. Once again, reflected light, and then back there, and then lower. Shadow. Doop, doop, doop. Once again, does Kyle Farron shade his pieces to this degree? From what I can tell, no. Uh, or at least not for Root. Uh, I can't help myself. I want... I want it. I need it. I like it. It's just... it's what's gonna happen. I like that a lot. Oh, also we need to do this one. Do this a little bit bigger. Zoom, zoom. Doop, doop. And then, honestly, let's go even a little darker. Go all the way over here with. And then let's do that, and then go a little lighter. lighter and a little smaller for the bomb yeah there we go all right so there's that now uh we're gonna take this oh is my music just gone <laughs> Uh Oh no, it's just a, like a weird end of a song where it's got like like a minute of silence. All right, we're going to take this and we're going to bring it like down to there. And we're going to go above it. And we're going to take Well, actually, we're going to go search for a new pen. We're gonna go for rough outline pen. No, uh, rough. Oops, wow. Come on, rough out. I guess let's just look at what comes up for this. Uh, angle pen, graffiti pen. If we're looking over here at this pen, for that, it's got kind of like a tight crunchy to it, but it's solid on the inside. Which is what I like. Maybe this? Let's try that one. Ooh. 
and keep looking. There's a lot of pens. That's cool. Dr. Dr. Pepper. DR Doctor. I don't want that necessarily. Thick. This is gonna get me demonetized. Oop, I also can't spell. Thick. This is too smooth, but I really like it. It's really cool. We'll just, yeah. Uh, this is th thick acrylic paint. Oh, actually, wait, wait, hold up. Hold up. That's cool. What's this one? Show me. I like this one. Cool. All right. We're gonna try these. Make it small. There we go. <sighs> uh, we're gonna go pen. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna add sub tool. Um, we're gonna go with this one. Normally, I would add all of the ones that I've downloaded, but I don't want to like get confused, which like I totally could on accident. This one is I think too smooth. Which is weird. Well, maybe I don't know. And then we'll see this one. I'm gonna try this one again. Yeah, we're going with that one. Ink four pen rough wins. Um, one more thing though, we need that. That color right there. All right. Oh, this is going to look great. I can already tell. And yeah, we're gonna have to probably redo some of the coloring, but that's fine. This is so much nicer. side because I like what I just did on the other side 
Yeah. There we go. Here, let's do this. All right. This is where some of that variable thickness is gonna like really help us out. Because as we're doing all of these lines, um, if I place something in a place where they're used to be something or the opposite where there used to be nothing um i can thicken a line here and there to make it um still read the way i want um or cover up things which is really nice Do I need that? Well, I probably should have it so that I know what lines I did have. So probably what I'm gonna be using that like variable line thing Four is a lot just like this bandolier um just because it's it was really messy i'm not gonna lie i probably should have redrawn it but that's fine we're fixing it now back to this color. Alright. This is a really nice brush. I really, really, really like it. I'm gonna end up going back and shouting out the creator of this brush because this is this is good. Some good shit. Alright, so we're gonna get a tiny bit more precise with the bandolier. Oof. I'm starting to get hungry.
Okay. a circle pain in the butt This line art is looking a lot better. I'm really glad I decided to go back and redo it because honestly, I was so unhappy with how it looked on at first just cuz I've I've drawn a few root characters at this point and they all just looked very I mean, to me, up to my standard. I'm, I'm not going to say good or bad, but they looked up to my standard, which to me is good. I think they looked really good and I was really proud of them. And I did not want to just like sit here and have, ooh, have dude just come out like not good because that would have sucked. Three buttons. All right. Doop, doop. Cool. And then we color this in. Oh, slowly but surely. <laughs> a ton I don't mean to be sighing a ton it's just um very warm currently so I gotta let out air to cool down it's 
Today's weather has been absolutely crazy here. I know it's boring for me to try and talk about the weather, but... I went from, uh... Sweater weather to... Sweltering hot. Uh, in the past, uh... Three hours? Four hours? So... Not... Not something that's easy to plan for, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, let's take off that. Look at that compared to the other one. That looks so much better. Got a color in the nose. That cute little nose. I have, however... Cleaned it up. <laughs> Alright, so now add to add some of the rough back in. Gotta add the lines. Uh, first we're gonna do the shadows. Nice thick shadowing. Get some shadowing going down here. fill down. Got a little bit more line weight on here now. That's cool. Now, the even cooler part. Texture. Alright.
thin lines in here. that Why did those come out so thick? I'm gonna get fucking cancelled for saying shit like that. Lines are a lot thicker. There's a... I forget how. There's a way to change line weight after you've drawn. Just line with. Uh, let's go narrow. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Cool. Huh. This is nice. Let's move on to coloring. Uh, 
this one, it's gonna go in the trash, delete this one. We're gonna quick, I'm gonna quick go in and just touch up some of the, undo that. Quick fix up anything that needs to be fixed up. Erase in between the fingies and tighten up there. Once again, I need to stop myself from over perfecting it while also finding a nice balance between like having some messy stuff but always also having it neat all right so now we're gonna take this like cream not actually a white and we're gonna color it oops that's the eraser <laughs> We're gonna choose some um, light. We're gonna color in anywhere that the light's gonna be hidden. these because I want him to have some nice white hairs. I want him to look very old. that Back to the cream do a little bit of backlighting So we've got some of 
that. And now we go in, see how some of this is orange. We're gonna take that orange. We're gonna steal that orange. And we're gonna give a little better backlighting. This is gonna be do this and then clean that up a little bit. I think we need to bring some of this back. We need to do that. And we need to do that. I like that a lot. That's really nice. All right. And now we're going to go to this layer. And we're going to take this color. And fill. necessarily know how he does trees I haven't like looked at it or anything I'm just kind of winging it for the sake of kind of being done just for right now that's for sure All right. And then maybe a
All right. Uh, I think that is good for me for now. Do one more layer, fill it with that color, pick it a little darker, fill, bring it down. Actually, let's pull this color. What if it were more neutral? What if it were more green? What if it were darker green? What if, what if it were even darker green? I like that. All right. Now we're gonna take this color and we are going to go back into pen, go real small, go right here. There we go. And that is it for today. Um, thank you for joining me. Sorry if this stream was a little jank. It was a little jank. That's fine though, for a first stream. Um, yeah. If you like it, cool. If you don't, also fine. Um, but if you do like it and want to stick around and want to see more of these, please subscribe. That'd be cool. Um, yeah. Bye!